two minutes into this hike and there's already incredible views. World's best strawberry cake. This is a lily cake. We are in Hot Springs, Arkansas. We are on a lily cation. That is when we go on vacation and it's all about lily. It's always all about lily. Oh, congratulations, lily. We have a pet friendly, dog friendly Airbnb here. <laughs> She's. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> and. <laughs> she she does not want to sit. She wants no. to go explore. Um, but Hot Springs National Park is one of the smallest national parks. It's also one of the only national parks that has a town city in it. Um, and Hot Springs is mostly, if not all, pet friendly, dog friendly, I should say. A lot of the trails are dog friendly. Um, Which is one of the reasons why we chose so, to bring her. <laughs> yeah. So this morning, or actually we drove here last night, we stopped in Little Rock for dinner, uh, which you'll have, to, you'll have to watch the Little Rock video on that. Um, and then continued, got settled into our Airbnb last night, and then woke up this morning, went and did the Sunset Trail um, to Balanced Rock. We are on Sunset Trail. Uh, which is a 12.8 mile loop around Hot Springs National Park, but we are not doing a 12.8 mile hike today. Um, we actually parked our car off Cedar Glade Road. There's a trailhead um, that meets up with Sunset Trail. So we are doing a 1.2, I think 1.2 mile hike to Balanced Rock. So it's about two and a half miles round trip. Um, the first quarter mile was about 300 feet elevation uh, so it's a good start to the morning yeah. um, but interested to see uh, the balanced rock this morning and we've already seen two deer yeah. or lily spot yeah she's she's having a good time with all the smells and she's ready to go <laughs> balanced rock we made it We did the sunset sunset trail to Balanced Rock. It was a muggy hike. It was a buggy hike. Yes. If you do it, bring, bring bug spray. Yeah. We have their sunscreen and bug spray. I got the snake bite kit. So then we came up to the mountain tower, the Hot Springs Mountain Tower, and it's actually part of the scenic drive, um, which I think is a three and a half mile loop one way. We were gonna do this scenic loop first thing this morning but unfortunately it doesn't open until 8 a.m and we were here at like 7 30 and so we're not really used to that because we try to go early even without lily we try to always you know hike early especially in the summertime but especially with lily we're trying to get an early start so we came back and then got to the mountain tower and it's it's twelve dollars if you don't have any type of rate or any or group rate or anything like that but if you have a national like park pass annual pass it's only nine dollars so I got to do that and then I was the only one that went up there and the views are really awesome it's definitely worth going up there um, and then stayed up there for like you can stay up there as long as you want like no one I mean it wasn't like super busy but it was just a really neat thing and make sure you definitely go to both floors um, because there's two different ones one is kind of like a mini museum it's indoor and then the, the top floor is outdoor so and now we're gonna go do Goat Rock Trail. And this trail that we're gonna do, you cannot access it until the scenic drive opens, I think. Yeah, yeah. unless there's a, unless, I guess you could walk, but if you wanna drive, you, ha you have to wait till 8 a.m. Yeah. Two 
minutes into this hike and there's already incredible views. So we made it on top of Goat Rock. It was about around three fourths of a mile to get here, all downhill for the most part, which means going back up is gonna be all uphill, I think about 300 feet of elevation. So that's gonna be a fun workout. Um, and I gotta say, this could absolutely be the greatest rock of all time. I could, I can see why it is called Goat Rock. <laughs> Billy, what do you think of Goat Rock? She is not as impressed. She's more impressed with deer poop and rabbits. If you're looking for a good lunch spot, if you like bring your lunch, like this is definitely a good spot. They have a little bench here. Yeah. And it's a really pretty view and it's yes. a nice day, so. Yes, we have really lucked out with the weather, but now we're gonna go find some lunch in town. cheese pizza just for me. A lovely cheese pizza just for me. We made it back to the Airbnb and we decided to go to DeLuca's Pizzeria for lunch. We had heard from several different places, people that you could not come to Hot Springs or leave Hot Springs without getting a slice of pizza from here. So after we left Goat Rock Trail, that's where we headed. Yeah, so we uh, looked up the menu and we, we ended up going with the Benny Briggs pie. And so we're gonna split it. It's a very, very large pie. It's like New York style. Um, I am so hungry and it looks so good. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, it's so good. Somebody else wants to try it. It's perfect. It's time to sauce it up. Oh boy, is my mouth watering. You're gonna wanna put a big dollop of that tangy red. All right, so after lunch and a quick rest at the Airbnb, we have come to the Garvin Woodland Gardens. And it's, it's pretty hot out. I mean, it is midday July, but this is, uh, obviously it's, very wooded and, and shaded. Shaded, and so it's, it feels really nice out right now. We were a little worried about Lily, but she's doing great. Uh, we did bring her some water just in case. Um, but this is the home of the Anthony Chapel. That's probably the most popular thing to see here. Yeah, unfortunately there's a wedding going on, so we couldn't go inside, but we did get to see the outside of it. And it's actually like, um, it, it holds up to 150 people and it's made of all wood and glass and it has a 57 foot high ceiling. And it, the pictures I'm sure don't even do it justice online, but um, it's also really popular for musicians because the acoustics are apparently really awesome in there. Um, so anyways, it's very beautiful from the outside. Wish we could go inside, but we're just happy to be here and it's a beautiful day and shaded and it's nice to just kind of walk around the gardens. When you, if you come to the Garvin Woodland Gardens, if you want to go into the garden, there it is $20 per person admission. Or if you want to just see the Anthony Chapel or the amphitheater or some of the other smaller gardens, um, 
you those are free you can just walk over and see them but um, you will you will find that to get in there is a booth here to pay yeah and I, as far as we know I mean walking around we can walk around with Lily it is dog friendly I'm not sure about the gardens but I'm guessing it is but we're not gonna go in and pay it but uh, we yeah. did see a peacock in the parking lot. Yes. I tried to get some photos of the peacock. You'll certainly hear the peacocks. Yes. <laughs> I always think that they sound like a kid screaming. <laughs> um, yeah. That's what I used to think it was when I was little. This peacock was a man? Now we are heading downtown and Hot Springs gets its name from the natural thermal water that flows from 47 springs in the historic downtown district and you will find locations all over to stop and fill up bottles or even jugs of this water. Through biocarbon dating, the scientists believe the water in the springs is from rain over 4,000 years ago. While we did not try it out on this trip, you can actually still visit Bathhouse Row and a few of the houses still operate today, allowing you to soak in the thermal spring water. The believed health benefits of this water made hot springs a destination in the springtime for major leaguers such as Babe Ruth, which is just a small part of Hot Springs' rich history in baseball. Hot Springs also became a hideout and hotbed for organized crime. In the 1920s, you would find Al Capone and other infamous mobsters hanging out here. Wow, the infamous? Infamous? So, one of the most popular places in Hot Springs to come get dessert is Bath Bottom Cupcake so Shop. You may have heard of it or seen it on the Food Network. But like I said, this is a Lilycation. So we're going to Fat Bottom Girls Pupcakes. Not only do they have pupcakes here, but they also have these little human cupcakes too. So it was buy three, get one. So Lauren got one, I got one, Lily's getting two. So. Alright, here we are. Mm. I forgot to say I got butter beer and it was really good. And the, the good thing about the little ones is I don't really like a lot of icing on cupcakes. So those little mini ones are like the perfect size. We got Lily a peanut butter and jelly and uh, oh, a pumpkin spice because we know she likes pumpkin. I don't know which one's which, but they're so little and they're cold. Are you ready? <laughs> I think she likes it. And I got the banana split, but I already ate it because my hands were full and I was trying to pay, but it was delicious. What did you think of yours, Lily? As she licks her chops. For dinner, we came to Fisherman's Wharf, which is right on the water. Of Lake Hamilton. Yes, and uh, apparently they have really good catfish, and Clint said he wanted to get some good catfish, so yep. that's what we're gonna do. Yep. All right, so we waited probably about 20 minutes uh, there on the dock before they called our name, and I think that was because we got there pretty early. It was around five, a little after five when we got there, so it was a very early dinner, but we were hungry and didn't want to wait. It's also a holiday weekend, so we knew it was probably going to be yeah. busy. When we left, it there was yes. the dock was packed. Yeah, and that was waiting. at 6.30, and I, it had to be over an hour wait for yeah. sure. So. so if you go later, be prepared to wait, but it was definitely worth it. When we sat down, we ended up getting some oysters um, as an appetizer. And we got some good drinks. Yes, I got the Sailing Kaylee. And I got the Scallywag. And it, mine was uh, uh, Captain Morgan, uh, Triple Sec, Blue Carousel, Pineapple Juice, and Sour Mix. Yes. And it was so much better than I expected. I really wanted the Scallywag, but Lauren ordered before me, and I didn't want to get the same thing. So I got the Sailing Kaylee, which our server said was really good, and it it was. It, and, and the Scallywag had coconut rum, 
banana liqueur, watermelon liqueur, and pineapple and orange juice. And I, you know, all those things mixed together kind of sound interesting, but I didn't really taste a lot of watermelon. I got mostly like the banana and coconut. Either way, it was delicious. Um, so I'm really glad that I got it. So. Yeah. And then after the oysters, um, and I feel like when you see oysters, either either it makes you sick or it looks really great. So um, the oysters were really good. And then I did not get catfish after looking at their menu. Which I, all looked amazing. Yeah, it was hard to make a decision. I ended up going with... What are we having? Trout. trout. And I'm not sad about it. I'm not, I'm not upset about my decision at all. It was so good. I got it with, it was broiled with this, their wharf seasoning, which is like a lemon pepper with Cajun seasoning mixture. I don't know, but it was really good. Um, I ended up just getting broccoli and red potatoes on the side. That's what's great too, is it cut, like most of the fish dishes come with two sides. And so, um, and then I got fried, trigger fish yeah. i was like i wanted to say trout and i'm like no i didn't get trout um, I, I got fried trigger fish and originally going in i wasn't sure what i was gonna get but it, next to the trigger fish it basically said must try and i'm like yeah well. mine did too yeah and so it was very mild like you couldn't even hardly taste it wasn't very fishy at all it was very very good it was lightly fried it wasn't like too over, overly fried or anything and then i got fried okra and hush puppies because if you don't know now, you will very soon learn that Hush Puppies is on like and my top of my list of things that I love. Yeah, and I've never seen Hush Puppies like that yeah, before. Yeah, they're like they were like little logs. Like most Hush Puppies look like little balls, and yeah. these were little logs, and they were delicious. They, they were, were so, so good. good. Jinx. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so then after that, we didn't think we could even eat anymore, but we knew we had to get dessert. <laughs> and that's because on the menu it said like world's best strawberry cake and I'm like I mean we gotta try it and it was very very good like there was like like the strawberry cream and the cake was really good but then they also had this like slight cinnamon in it I don't I don't know that's what I tasted I don't know it was really good <laughs> and so. I got the key lime pie which was very good. It wasn't super sweet or super tart. It was just the perfect combination. And the crust was so crumbly. Uh, it was delicious. I ended up getting every crumb of that crust off the plate. It was so good. And then we rushed back to our Airbnb right after dinner um, to come check on Lily. She's, uh, they actually do not allow dogs unless they're service dogs at the restaurant. So Lily didn't go, which is probably a good thing. She was pretty exhausted and Pretty she'd sure had she a big a day so she's been sleeping and even since we've been sitting here she has not bothered us or even given a thought to us because she's been sitting at her feet this whole time which she never does so that's how we know she's tired <laughs> lily. lily lily hey lily lily that pretty much concludes most of the day in hot springs and yeah. everything that we had planned um <clears throat> So yeah. tomorrow we're gonna wake up and uh, go to Little Rock. Um, so we're excited about that because we were going to do the hike that you'll see. We were gonna do it before we came to Hot Springs on the way down and it was just too hot with Lily and everything. So we're gonna wake up super early and hopefully we'll have the place all to ourselves. We just got back to Airbnb and we picked up dinner along the way and since we didn't get catfish last night, we decided we were gonna get it tonight. And yeah. so we got it at this place called Bubba's Catfish and Seafood. Yeah, it was supposed to be some of the best catfish in Hot Springs and some of the best catfish in Arkansas, so we're pretty excited. Also, there's two locations. There's one that's just to go, and then there's one that's a restaurant, but you can also walk up, and that's the one we went to. We got the seafood sampler, which comes with catfish, shrimp crawfish tails which are these little guys i'm not even sure if i've actually tried crawfish so i'm really excited to try that french fries and then coleslaw and hush puppies they're hiding down there so i'm gonna try shrimp and then uh and we'll see i'm sure it's gonna be awesome mm. so good And I'm gonna try one of these little crawfish tails. And I think 
this is a Creole, what is it? Roulade. Roulade. Um, it's possible we're saying. It's really good. It is, I mean, everything we got is fried, but um, it's really juicy. Like, there's a lot packed into that little bite. I was not expecting that, but it was good. The sauce is good too. It's got a little bit of spice, but not a whole lot. Um, I'm gonna want more of that. We also got just the cakes, which are these little mini crab cakes that look like hush puppies, but they're actually crab cakes. And they look amazing. So we're gonna give these a try too. Oh, I need all those. So good. Like I said before, uh, hush puppies are one of my favorite things, so I'm gonna give this a try. Oh man, it's really good. I think it has onions in it, which gives it a little bit of extra flavor, because I know some hush puppies, they do that, and I don't know, but it's really good. All right, now for the main event. Now for the catfish, what we've all been waiting for, what we, well, well we didn't come here for the catfish, but we're here for the catfish now. Let's see this. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be good. You can see how flaky it is, light breading, all the spices in it. And they make their own special dill tartar sauce. So I'm excited to try this with their catfish. Here we go. Oh, both are so good and both complement each other. The catfish is perfectly breaded and fried. And the, this dill tartar sauce, I, I hope we got extra and I'm glad because I'm going to probably dip everything in here. So, now we're going to eat up. This ends our time here in Hot Springs. We've had a great time, done some great hiking. The weather's been great. And so we are so excited to see what comes up next. Somebody is exhausted. She can barely keep her eyes open. <laughs>